We are going to have a quick look on how to get started with the Octomono app. Once you install the Octomono app from the Weebly App Center for free, you can access the element at the left sidebar at the bottom. So when you drop it on the page, you will see that by clicking on it that you will have a dashboard icon. This is where all your elements are located and all the information about your account. So when opening this, the Octomono dashboard should load. At the center you can see that all the elements are located. On the left sidebar we got the option of accessing the My Font library, where you will handle all the fonts that you include in the elements used throughout the Octomono app. From here on you can also add more uh, fonts. You have the contact support in case you need help with anything. You have the My Account button where you can click and receive information about your current account and the site you're using it on and notification panel where notification will be shown from updates and new features. So now let's have a quick look inside of one of the elements. So we'll click on the button element here. And in this panel, almost each element will be looking the same, where you get your preview window here at the center with your preview, of course. And then on top of it, there will be an option of clicking through multiple screen widths, which will be for uh, larger screens, tablet sizes and phone sizes. On the left sidebar, there will be mostly located the global settings. On the top, you can see at the left corner, there is an icon. Whenever clicking on this menu icon, you can either go back to the elements. This is, you can only go back to the elements in case you haven't saved already your uh, element. You can also always access the font library from here, the contact support and also the information docs can be accessed from here. So whenever clicking on this you will be taken directly to the info docs of that specific element you are being used. And here at the top you have the option of scrolling through a dark preview or a light preview. And again you can access the my account you can access the notification and you can also use, of course, the save button once your element has been created and you want to go back to your Weebly editor. 